What's up guys? Um, so in previous video, I have installed the Alpha Crew XT45, the 120mm array. Um, I have to admit, I was not really that impressed with the cooling capacity. So, I went online and ordered the ST30, ST30 the 240 rate. Along with um, a bag of screw, well, I ordered what um, eight, and the seller he gave me twenty two. So he's a really cool guy. <laughs> and two forty five degree um, the fittings. Oh, by the way, I changed the, the my computer case to Cooler Master um, six ninety three. Um, it's it's a pretty good case. Um, it's huge. It got a two eighty a huge fan in the center um, so I got a giant air intake for it and I have the uh, the XT45 120 rig mounted uh, in the back um, so the 220 will be mounting on the top and I'm reserving the front port oh, no sorry I'm reserving the front for the GPU radiator so if I'm ever going to um, water cooling my video card, I gonna have to put another 240 in it. So maybe I don't know. See if the ST30 is doing any good job. If not, then I may go with the XSPC, the EX1 EX radiator. So um, anyway, so right now I have oh. I don't actually I don't know about the room temperature um, but right now I have my computer up and running for about hour and a half um, I've been doing some company work and watching some YouTube video as, as you can see uh, the boot, when I boot up the computer it was uh, the CPU was 34 degree uh, the motherboard which is the North Bridge I believe is uh, 32 and the CPU has been heating up mo uh, maximum to 50 degree and 39 for the North Bridge. And right now, since I'm not doing anything, it is at 39 and sorry, 49 and 39 degree for the CPU and the North Bridge. It's yeah, it's not that impressive. I know, like even any all-in-one water cooling can beat this record. So. Um, yeah, that's why I said the XT45 is not that impressive and I even do a push-pull configuration for the XT45 so I have um, a Wing 12 PL for the push and I have the um, I don't know what fan it is it comes with the case um, it's the Cooler Master uh, 120 fan is I really don't know what is the model um, it's doing the pull configuration so I'm doing the push-pull and the temperature is slightly improved but still it's only like three degree difference um i know it's not that good or bad but um there is room for improvement oh yeah by the way uh, the cooler must okay so in the middle of the build in here so just want to let you know the difference between the st30 and the xt45 uh, so the major difference of course is the thickness one is a uh, 30 millimeter thick the other one is 45 millimeter um, and the other major difference is um, the density of the fin uh, so I have a I have a, a ruler in here should Okay, sorry. Um, sorry for the. So I don't know if you can count it, but. Uh, so, the ST thirty has about thirteen fin per inch. As for the XT forty five. How do I look at it? Oh yeah. So XT45 has about 10 fins per inch. 
so yep so this is the difference 30% more thin density versus 10 fins yeah you definitely can tell the lights coming through um, so I have not done the math of which one has more contact surface but right now the ST30 looks pretty good on me so um, going back to the build and hopefully I will put this bad boy into here in no time what's up so this is the final result for after installing the Alvacool ST30 with only one cooling fan which is taken from the XT45 the Wing 12 PL as you can see the result uh, because because I'm still running the Prime 95 uh, I've been running for about half hour and it's still running so it is really impressive so look at it uh, so I started at uh, 849 uh, yeah 2049 which is uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Uh, right now is Come on, okay, uh, 923 is running more than three hours, uh, half, sorry, half hour already. So let me stop it. And yeah, so the result is, I'm really satisfied with the result. So the highest is 65 degree, the, the CPU is 65 degree and the north bridge is 38 and the motherboard well you can discard that result uh, this is the boot up temperature so you can discard, discard this as well um, this is the current temperature uh, I just stop it and you can see the temperature has dropped dramatically fast uh, yep so uh, looking at the result yeah it's the 60 uh, sorry uh, 42 Giga, uh, 4200 gigahertz uh, is the same as the last time last time without the st st blah, 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 yeah without the st30 uh, so this is the last time we saw uh, 4.2 gigahertz with the LLC on load light calibration uh, the temperature is 72 for the CPU 43 for the north bridge and yeah you can see that is a huge difference um, is dropped at uh, 7 degree and I think I suspect if I swap the CPU block I will get better result because look at the north bridge uh, 38 degree 43 degree there's only like three uh, five degree change so the water temperature is definitely cooler than the CPU has made so um, since I don't have a thermometer I cannot tell you the exact temperature but I'm suspecting maybe uh, 50 ish I don't know but putting extra uh, 420 uh, sorry 240 rig can reduce what 7 degree with only one fan and if I put another fan on that will decrease even more so yep I'm very happy with the Alvacool ST30 and if